So here we are with a controller tutorial. Since the video game's controls are not necessarily intuitive compared to what we're used to today, even compared to old school tank controls like from classic Resident Evil. So pressing the right directional key makes your character swivel to the character's right. Pressing the re left directional key swivels the characters to the character's left. Classic tank controls. Up makes your character walk forward to the character's point of view down makes them back up from their point of view, not from ours. And pressing left or right while pressing up makes your character walk and turn to the left or right of their left and right, not ours. That's all standard tank control. Even if you hate it, you're probably used to it. So where it gets trickier is with running. Unlike in other games, you don't hold a button while you press up. Instead, you have to tap up once, and then you have to press it again and hold it really fast. So it's kind of like a double tap, but you're holding the up button on the second tap. And it takes a lot of precise timing, but you really want to practice and get used to that, because it'll save you a lot of time, and it'll save your character's life. But time is also a big one, because these characters walk really slowly. When it comes to picking up items, if an item is on the floor, then just touching it will make your character pick it up. But if an item is in a drawer or something, you have to use your search function. So you go to your action menu by pressing the enter key, at least that's for me. And you actually have to go down and choose the search function after you click on action. And then if you press the spacebar, your other action key, then it will do whatever you set the command to and see there you had to use that to open the trunk. Now with doors, just touching them will open the door. But there's also a close door function that you actually have to choose on your action menu. As far as I know, that's only needed to close the doors and there's never a point in the game when you have to close a, a door to progress. So it's just uh, an extra option to flesh it out, which just adds a touch of realism, I guess, being able to close the door if you want to. Now on the action menu, you can see that there are four options right now, fight, open, search, close, push. There will be an extra option later in the game at some point, jump, but that's only for a specific option, a specific section of the game. There's nothing in this room to push, but if you chose push, all you would do is stand in front of the item, and if you push the space bar, your character would push the item in whatever direction the character was facing, like so. If it's an item that could be pushed. Now go to the action menu, and if you choose fight, that will make your character enter into melee mode with their bare fists. So hold the space bar, and if you uh. press the right arrow, your character will give a right hook. <coughs> the left arrow will make your character throw a left hook. <coughs> the downward arrow makes your character kick. And also, <coughs> at least for Emily, the upper arrow makes your character kick too. I think Carnby may do a headbutt. I know he does in the sequels. I don't play as him a lot in this one because Emily has more to do with the story, so I forget if he has his headbutt move in this one. Anyway, in order to use a, a weapon, just go to the weapon, click Use, and then hold the space bar. The up direction arrow will make your character do an overhead downward slice. The down directional arrow will make your character back up while sort of slicing. The right directional key, a right a swing from the right, left directional key, a swing from the left. So, pretty straightforward. Now it works differently with guns, because with guns, if you hold the space bar, left and right just make your character swivel where they're aiming. And the up directional key makes your character fire. And if you hold it, they'll repeatedly fire. The down directional key when holding spacebar with the weapon doesn't do anything. So that's basically it. One more thing, 
whenever you do use an item on something, you'll want to click use on the item. And then oftentimes, while standing in front of whatever you were going to use it on, you'll want to press the space bar. And that'll make you use the item. So this is it. Commit it all to your muscle memory, and you'll enjoy the game a lot more for being used to it.